the you video don't. to come out and have me look like sh Back up. Because the closer you look, the bigger you look. Oh, yeah, you're right. You need to shift in, Mom. You shift in. I'm doing it based on the table. But we should go based off of the camera. Oh, okay. Ready? Wait. Okay. Hold on. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke, if you guys are new here, and this is my mom. We're doing another taste test trying video. The last one we did for Dunkin' and Starbucks orders was so fun, and you guys seemed to love it. It was so good. Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. good, and we got some good new orders out totally. of it. Totally, mm -hmm. and learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wanted to kind of continue that theme with somewhere near and dear to our hearts, um, Trader Joe's. If you watch any of my vlogs, you know I love Trader Joe's, but I got it from you guys. We've been shopping there since it was yes. like very, very young. Basically, the day it opened, yeah. that became our go-to. We were OG Trader Joe's, because it's we become, it became trendy in the past like three years to shop there. Yeah, no, I was way before the trend. We always go there for, you know, produce, snacks, like really across the board stuff. But today, I put it out on my Instagram that we wanted to try some of your favorite Trader Joe's products. And in this video specifically, we're going to be doing snacks and more like snack foods, a few desserts, treats. treats. Right? Awesome. Right up my alley. Yeah. But if you guys want to see this video with like more real, how do we say? Like food, like main, like center of the plate or, or side dishes, things that maybe yeah. you have to prepare. These are already prepared. Like these are just go to. Yeah. We have like some dips. We have some, like a bread, a ice cream, like more treats uh, that you guys recommended us to try. So we're really excited and we're going to give our full review. Last time we did it, what, on a scale of one to 10? I, I did like the, the, the scale. We okay, have to do so it again like that. that again. And just keep in mind, these are all in different categories, stuff like that. And at the end of the video, we're going to be saying some of our favorites. Yes. If you guys want um, just like a coherent list of like our like our, our go-tos, go yeah. because we're not doing that really in this video. This is kind of new stuff, stuff that we really haven't tried too much, or we've tried them, but maybe they're not always on our shopping list. Okay, so let's get it started with um, the ice cream of it all, because it's probably yeah. melted. Okay, so these are um, the ice cream bonbons with chocolate cookie crust. Sounds terrible. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. We'll show you guys the packaging for everything. I got everything in this shop for around $40, $45, I think, just for reference. Um, and it is a good bit of stuff. Trader Joe's just, I find that they're one of the most reasonably priced grocery stores for the products. So. Yeah, I'm sure that there's there are some things that are maybe you could do, you could get it elsewhere for less, but on the whole, I think they're pretty, I mean, they're certainly not like a Whole Foods. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, Whole Foods in my paycheck. While it's melting in my hand. Yeah. <gasps> Holy. <gasps> Can you go get some paper towels or something? Yeah. Cookie did not eat any of the chocolate, I feel compelled to tell you. Yeah, we're back. Just a slight fail. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mm. The ice cream's melted. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Really good. I'm gonna give it a, like an eight out of 10. What do you think? Oh yes, I've had these before, love them, and serious eight out of 10, but I have to go put this in the freezer. Yeah, cause it's, um, the ice cream is pretty melty. Yeah. <laughs> I would say a solid eight out of 10 too. Good snack to have on hand. I love Trader Joe's for their mini little desserts and things like that. I think they're great to have on hand too. If, you, if you're like me and sometimes you don't want like a whole pint of ice cream, you just want like a treat. I feel like those are great to have on hand. So next up, we are trying the everything but the bagel Greek yogurt dip. I'll be honest, I've tried this before, but you haven't, Never right? have had it and I'm a big everything but the bagel fan. Same, so basically it says it's a Greek style yogurt dip with sesame seeds, salt, poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. So it's is, it, like, is it like better for you? Cause it's made with Greek. Is it only made with Greek yogurt? Or is it also made with sour cream? It's made with cream as well. Yeah. Light cream. Oh, this has gotta be tasty. Yeah. And we're gonna taste it with just our basic like pretzel thins. You could try it with any cracker, probably vegetables and stuff like that too, but yeah, yeah we should it. preface that we're starving. I know we didn't really eat today, so. Should I give it a little bit of a stir with this? Yeah. Hold on. Really good. You actually get a little bit of the twang of the yogurt, right? Yep, I really like it. I can just sit all day and eat this. It's like one of my favorite dips, actually. We tried to pick a plain cracker so that we really only, mm -hmm. or a plain pretzel so that we focus on the flavor of the dip. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. This is literally like, it, 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 does it, for it you. speaks to me. Yeah. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Okay. That, that's 
Good yeah, it still it like maintains its consistency really well too. It's not like super soupy, which I like. Another dip. This is I only recently found out about pimento cheese when I went to college. This was not something that I grew up eating here in the north. Yeah, we we don't do this. Um, but I went to college and I remember Mariah's mom would make us pimento cheese ser croissants. They had to have been amazing. They, I mean, <laughs> it was amazing. What? I mean, like mini croissants stuffed with pimento cheese. She would give us like thirty at a time, basically. Yes. So my junior year, oh it contributed to a massive weight gain but it's okay. But they were amazing. So this is the pimento cheese dip with extra sharp cheddar cheese and roasted pimento peppers. You can get these dips. By the way, they're in the regular fridge section by yes. the like can I cheese. This? this we actually got just like classic crackers to eat it with, but since we already opened the pretzels, we'll just eat it with the pretzels. Yeah. Ooh, I like the consistency. Look at that. I could be wrong, but I, oh my gosh. I know that it's better when it's homemade. I know people are gonna comment that, but um, yeah. Wow, wow. You want another? Oh my God, yes. That's a nine. Oh yeah, I would agree. Really does it for me. Cheesy, but still like, what's it is that extra sharp cheddar flavor, right? That really like stands it. out. Very creamy still. Mm. I really like it. I like it with these. You know, I always get the everything one of these. This is a good good find, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, we better put it away. Otherwise, I'll just give you another. nine out of ten on both ends. Yeah, it slaps. Quite special. Let's try a gummy. Yeah. Okay, we're going back and forth from salty to savory. I mean, I'm That's savory good. to sweet. Okay. Isn't that good? Yeah. So many of you guys recommended these, which I was shocked. I was shocked, to say the least. Yeah, but you don't, you, now you have to tell. You're not a gummy. My dad's outside. <laughs> You're not a gummy person half as much as I am. Yeah. Let me just preference this. If I never saw chocolate again, I'd almost be fine. Yes. If I could just live on. Gummy Swedish bears. fish, gummy bears, gummy peaches, gummy sharks, gummy everything. <laughs> yeah, you name it, I gummy it. I still love them though. So let's. Um, so these are the Scandinavian. But you love chocolate more than gummy. I love. Uh, yeah. love chocolate. Yeah. Okay. So these are the Scandinavian swimmers. It says inside this nautically bedecked pouch, you'll find ocean-inspired shapes: lobsters, dolphins, seahorses, and rock and fish. And rockfish, not rock in. <laughs> All right, let's go. So it's just like basic gummies, I guess, right? I kind of yeah. like this bag. And I like the bag because it's not a refillable bag. Nice. And it's heavy. Almost a pound. Wow. How much? $3.99 maybe. Yeah, I nice. guess I, I didn't say at the exact prices. I wonder if they taste different. Like I have to go for red just because. Okay, right? well, I'm gonna go for something else. Oh look, it's a lobster. I'm Give gonna go his. for the shark. Mmm. Oh it tastes like Swedish fish. It's like a Swedish fish, just yours. Mm -hmm. Wow, it literally is a Swedish fish. I'm sure that they all taste the same then. You think? Some of you guys told us to get the sour version of these too, but we just like plain, so we just got the plain ones. Seahorse. <laughs> I expected them to be stickier. And they're not, they don't stick to your teeth. These Dangerous. are really, really good. The yellow tastes different than the red. You think? The red tastes exactly like a red Swedish fish. Okay. Well, yellow is definitely different. Okay, now I'm gonna try the orangey. It looks fishy. I'll try the orange one too then. A little different. It's not, it's a lot different. The blue kind of tasted like the Swedish fish, but maybe I'm sure that. Okay. Try the red one. Yeah, the red is mm. fire. This super dangerous to me. What would you rate them? That's a nine. Wow. I love candy. Yeah, I know you do. To me, these are like, just because I wouldn't purchase them, but I do enjoy them, mm. I would give them like a seven. And they are very fresh. They're very like, you know, so sometimes fresh. gummies get kind of like stale tasting. They must have just been me because look at this. Best by August one. Of next year. Of next year. So I. It's gotta have a 12 month shelf life. I always, I'm intrigued by this because yeah. I like to look at shelf lives. I guarantee this was made August 1st of this year. I think that you can dip, use these with a dip too, but so these are the rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime. I see these every time I go. I love the packaging. I think it's so fun. Well, I was about to say that. Do you know, I'm, I do find it intriguing because you do not normally see snack foods like with hot pink packaging. That's yes. totally unique. And this is spicy. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Spicy. Mm. Ooh, irresistible little scrolls. Made from stone ground corn maza that is cut, rolled, and fried to captivating crunchiness and generously extra hot chili and lime flavor. Seasoning sure is spicy. We didn't get too silly with the chili. We oh, just... okay, okay, okay. So it's like a, probably a five out of ten. It's almost like, it feels like more like a sweet chili than Let's like say. a spicy. I could be wrong though. They're like... Spicy. Yeah, wow. It needs dip. I feel like if you did it almost with the, the sour cream dip. Yeah, I mean, I the, am, the but... creamy dip. Yeah. Should we try that? 
I don't like how powdery they make my hands. I hate that. I don't like these. Some people love that. Do you like these? No. I mean, I don't hate them, but I wouldn't buy them again. So I'm going to give them like a four out of 10. I'm going to give it a three actually. Wow. Because I would never buy it. Okay. Like ever, ever, ever. But I could see how people would be into it. Yes, but we're also wusses and we don't like spice. So. Right. Yeah. Too spicy for me. Yeah. I told you some water. But I have heard amazing things about these. So I guess other, it just shows how people, people have different tastes. Different taste buds. Yeah. Now, pancake bread. I am intrigued. Traders has a lot of good breads and cakes and pastries and things like that. A twist on buttermilk short stack baked into a sweet moist loaf. So it's like a banana bread, but it's yeah. like a coffee cake, if you will. Mm -hmm. But no nuts, just milk, egg, and wheat. So that's good. Because I don't do nuts really. Well, I mean, I don't do nuts. Really. I like it. They baked it in here. You know that, right? Yes. Yeah. But and you wouldn't like, you, you could reheat it in this? I think so. That... But you could also like peel it back. You're making me nervous. Sorry. With the knife I'm in so my sorry. Face. Here. I don't taste anything. Like, it tastes like pancakes. You think? You don't get that like buttery pancake y type of taste. A little bit, maybe. I have opinions. If I look, looked at the calories, I'd be horrified. So I would just say that based on that, like I don't think it's like the bang for my buck is there. Do you know like what I mean? Like if you're gonna indulge, that's yeah. not worth the indulgence. Right. Yeah. I would agree. I actually, I think the flavor is pretty light overall. It's very mild. You could almost argue, I, I'm not a person that puts ice cream on cake, but you know when people do that? Yeah, for you a You could almost imagine yeah, people yeah. would do that. Or if you drizzled it with like some sauce or something. Yeah, yeah, raspberry syrup or something like that. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 because it wasn't bad. It's average experience. I was gonna give it a five, but I would actually- You in lower, retrospect, lower? Yeah, yeah, just because I would never buy it. I would never and buy that's it. That's what I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Never buy it. Four. And I guarantee that daddy's gonna love it. This is like right up his alley. So we'll have to have my dad actually. Yes, yeah, so we'll we might have to guest appearance him in here. So we love the Trader Joe's popcorn, but we've never tried it with herbs and spices. We've had the dill pickle one. So good. The that must be seasonal. Yeah, I didn't see it. We just like the regular air popped, the olive oil, any of those. The ones. light one. Like the light one, but whatever. then what's this the, what's the, just, what's oh, the movie theater. We yeah. have all of them. Yeah. Well, let's try herbs and spices. Easy bag open. That gets a couple <laughs> points right then and there. Daddy keeps ducking, but he doesn't realize that, that we're coming in this the opposite way. direction. We're just in front of the window. Here's what it looks like. Like it has like some, you probably can't see, but it has, my fingers are covered. Yes. Wow. Oh, it has dill. That's why I don't like it. Celery, Celery seed, seed, onion. Wow, I really like this. It's like the dill pickle one without the mm -hmm. pucker. Oh, this is very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. This is good for a Netflix documentary tonight. Mm -hmm. Seven out of 10, is that what you would say? I was gonna give it an eight because I would buy this. Oh, okay. I don't know if I would like the movie theater butter one more, but- Really? Yeah, but oh, this no, one's I like this really one. good. Wow, what a good find. I just always overlook it. I just mm. like see it on the shelf and I'm like, eh. I am stoked about these. I can't even begin to explain my excitement. The cookie butter sandwich cookies. We love cookie butter, of course. Yeah. I mean, who does Like, if you don't like it, you don't know what it is. Like daddy didn't know what cookie butter was. Is this like a shortbread cookie? I think Creamy so. Creamy cookie butter spread between two decadent butter cookies. I know, it's gonna be amazing. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Falling apart. I'll tell you why it's falling apart, because it's like a shortbread cookie. Another light one. I feel like these aren't crazy flavorful. Am I, are my taste buds like dull? Totally not. Mm. I wouldn't buy these again necessarily because I would have no control because I love a shortbread cookie. This to me is everything. Totally solid eight. This is amazing to me. I had such high expectations for them and I really was let down. So that's why I'm gonna have to give it a six. Still very good, but for some reason, based on this picture, I expect them to be like- I almost would have known that you don't like shortbread cookies. I don't, but I like the cookie butter though. So I was expecting it, I don't know. Well, you, but you've got, look how big the I ratio know, is. I know, you're right, you're right. Okay. You set yourself up for failure. I did, I did, I'm disappointed. I love it. I I have tried these before full transparency. I don't think you have though. No. Um, the almond butter cups, something I don't usually buy, but. Do you not buy because you don't have control? Or yes. Do you, oh, I would have had the peanut butter version, but, but I know. I'm allergic to peanuts, so. Chocolate's always good at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna give them an eight. I think that the almond butter is smooth and creamy. The chocolate is dark chocolate, but it's not super bitter. <laughs> and I just think they're like a perfect size. I really like the size of them. What do you think? I don't like them. I like the dark chocolate, but all I taste is the dark chocolate. Okay. No, I think it's five. Wow. We yeah. Different tastes. We just yeah. have different tastes. Well, that's because you I have that. to like them. I would rather eat a Reese's peanut butter cup. I guess when you don't know what you're missing. I am sea super. salt and saddle potato crisps. I guess these are supposed to be like Pringles. <sighs> I love a, I'm just warning. I love a Pringle. I don't just take one at a time, by the way, but I will for this. And like the can and everything too. 
Mm, mm. That'd be better for you though. No. Another eight out of 10 for me. Yeah, this is an eight out of 10. I really, really like them. They taste basically exactly like Pringles. Hope you like them. <laughs> Last but not least, we have watermelon jerky. Now I love the package. This was picked up because we saw it, it wasn't right. No one wrote this it This wasn't on a recommended one, no. This was just my mom was like, I think Because look how cute cool. it is. Once again, it's the pink. It just got me. Resealable. Oh. Wow, it oh really gosh, looks like look. watermelon. Oh, it's so fun. Mm. Wow, this is terrible. Mom. All right, this is like a two out of 10. It really is just like dried watermelon. I just would rather have regular watermelon. It's literally, there's no sugar added. It's only watermelon. I don't mind it. You're going back for more. Ew, ew. It kind of leaves that stickiness on your teeth. Yeah, I don't like it. Ew, I'm like putting it back here. Like, I don't like it. I give it a, a six. I mean, I'm not going crazy. It was something interesting to try. Do you you dry, really didn't like it. Yeah, I normally don't like dried fruit. You like dried fruit. I love dried fruit. Mm -hmm. But that's not dried fruit. That's like almost like dehydrated. Yeah. Now, before we end off the video, I have a list on my phone of just some of our favorite products from Trader Joe's. Just is, in mine, case. is mine on there too? Because yeah, I, I'm, oh, I do have some like randos. Go ahead. Okay, cool. So we're just going to go back and forth. This we might be forgetting things nine times out of 10. If you pick something up there, it's pretty good. So <laughs> yes, unless it's the watermelon jar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like the cauliflower pizza, just the regular one um, that comes with cheese on it. I also like the mushroom flatbread, bean and rice burritos, mushroom brie cheese. <sighs> is it the best <sighs> cheese so good spinach and kale greek yogurt dip is one of my favorite dips. yes hold the cones we got them for the house i actually prefer the vanilla over the chocolate mm, interesting everything but the bagel seasoning we use basically every day right? yes you put so, it on your hard-boiled eggs and stuff and that was on my list so hard-boiled eggs for sure trader well, joe's lit up must. when we get pre-made hard-boiled eggs. they're like it's so easy to Why? make them yeah but I, you know what here, here's the thing. When I'm really busy with work, I have to weigh my time versus convenience. I, it, it just comes down I to that. Agree. Or when I would travel like back and forth in the car, it was like, at least I was making a better decision running out of the house. Yeah. I would put them in a plastic bag. My girlfriend taught me this at Weight Watchers. So you just put them in a plastic bag, couple of hard boiled eggs, sprinkle some of the everything with the bagel, close the bag and then kind of almost let it sit for like a little while. Like don't like eat it right away. Yeah. And it's so good. Yum. And good for you, low carb, you know, better choice. Personally, I'm a big fan of a lot of the vegetables and all of that area, you know, like we bought, today Brussels, we sprouts. bought Brussels sprouts. I put uh, chicken cilantro wontons on here. We oh love those. Oh my gosh, I haven't had those in so long. I get them every time I go. So good. Gone bananas. Yeah, I have no control. I can't buy that though. No. Yeah, that's like a one serving for me. Chips and stuff from there. We love like the, oh yeah, the like kettle cooked chips. Kettle cooked something cut chips. Yeah, like they're very thick. Crinkle cut. Yeah, whatever they are. Okay, they're big and thick and they're, they're heavy. So good. They can handle a dip, which is really nice. Yeah, and we bought the caramelized onion dip. I think those are some of our favorites. Leave some of your favorites below. Also, let us know if we should do the the bait, the video where we have to cook stuff because we have to do that. Good times. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram to be a part of the next one, um, I will leave our handles right here and down below. And have a lovely day. Bye, guys. Bye.